Hi, my name is Project Sedan and here's my Christmas tip. On Saturday, uh, a team whose name I don't like to say out loud, Aston Villa, face Sheffield United at Villa Park in Birmingham. It's a game that has two teams that are chasing promotion and on paper it should be a game that uh, Aston Villa will win because Sheffield United's form, recent form is abysmal, it's, it's really bad. However, and this isn't just me saying this because I hate Aston Villa, which I do, I'm sorry. Um, Steve Bruce's men have got real problems up front. Um, none of their strikers are fit. Um, Hogan, Scott Hogan's been out injured for some, while, uh, for some time. Uh, Jonathan Codger has had an ankle injury out to, went into well into the new year. Gabby Agbonahor, Keenan Davis. So they're really struggling for people up front. They face a Sheffield United team that have been poor of late. They've been making chances, but they've not been scoring them, and their defence has been somewhat rickety. However, I think that luck has got to change at some point. And against an Aston Villa side that is a little bit nervous at the moment, that aren't doing as well as they have been, this is the chance, this is the time to look for a value bet. Sheffield United are at 3.61 to win this game, which is far too high in my opinion. I think they're that high because of their recent form, but I think that recent form is false. I think they are much better than that and they can get results. So my tip for Christmas is Sheffield United to beat Aston Villa at 3.61. For more tips from me, you can follow me on Twitter at ProTips to Dan or on Facebook as ProTips to Dan. Come join our Facebook groups uh, via our ProTips to the UK Facebook uh, page and you can talk to me, Martin, Johnny, Paddy, ask us our advice on tips, life, the universe, everything. Anyway, till then, have a great Christmas and a very prosperous and bookie bashing new year. Hi, I'm Protest Martin. Here's my tip for the weekend. Um, just a Saturday tip because Sunday is Christmas Eve and there's not too much football going on. Um, for Saturday's tip, I've actually gone for one in League One in England. It's the game at Kings Meadow between AFC Wimbledon and Bradford City. Now, I actually think Bradford could win this quite comfortably. Um, AFC Wimbledon aren't doing very well. They're second bottom at the moment, um, struggling a little bit. They've only actually won twice at home all season. Um, they got thumped 4-0 by Wigan last weekend at home as well. Um, albeit, you know, it was pretty tight up until the last few minutes and, and Wigan banged in a few goals. But Wimbledon just don't have enough going forward to trouble any side at the moment, in all honesty. Um, low scorers in the league as well. They've only scored 15 um, in the league so far this season. Um, Bradford have scored uh, 35 actually so 20 more than, than AFC Wimbledon and just don't know where the goals are coming from for the Dons unfortunately um, whereas Bradford love travelling away um, they're okay at home as well to be honest but they've won 4 on the spin away from home um, and they've only suffered one defeat in the last 14 I think it is um, on their travels and 11 of those have been wins as well. Um, so I think Bradford could value here at 2.41 for the victory. And for Jay Greaves, Bradford player, he's making the first trip back to Kings Meadow because he moved from AFC Wimbledon in the summer. Um, will he get a good reception? I think he will. Uh, he played well over 100 games for AFC Wimbledon. That's where his heart is, really. Um, and he also actually scored the opener last year um, when they beat MK Dons 2-0. Um, so I think for that reason, he'll always be a hero at FC Wimbledon. So, but he's got a job to do. Um, he'll certainly go there looking to pick up three points with Bradford. Um, and FC Wimbledon, off the field, they've actually got some good things to shout about. They, you know, they got their stadium um, accepted, their plan for mission and... They should start building that soon, uh, going back to Plough Lane, which is good because, you know, they're just borrowing Kings Bed at the minute, which Chelsea own actually. Um, Chelsea ladies play there at the moment. But yeah, going back to where they were all those years ago, that'd be good for them. Unfortunately, I think it probably will be in League Two. Um, I just can't see them, can't see them doing anything this season. The second bottom, as I say, and I'll, I'll find it very difficult to, 
understand where they're going to get wins from in this festive period. You know, he's he's always difficult with the amount of games, and I just don't think AFC Wimbledon have the squad that fever. Um, so yeah, for me, Bradford at 2.41 is cracking value. Um, and they'll, they'll go second with a win, and if they keep this up, they will, you know, push push Blackburn and Wigan very, very hard for those automatic places. So yeah, my tip, just to confirm, is Bradford to win away at AFC Wimbledon at 2.41. Well worth sticking on in an accumulator as well, if you fancy it, because everyone loves uh, a Christmas accumulator. That's it from me. Enjoy the festive period. Feel free to give me a shout on Facebook or Twitter. I'm at ProTips.M on Twitter and ProTips to Martin, three separate words on Facebook. Enjoy yourself. Happy New Year. Hello guys, Pro Tipster Paddy here with my tip for Saturday. Well actually, it's two tips because I'm going for a double. Uh, normally I don't like betting on stuff that's under 2.0. So I've put two games together and I've got odds of 3.15. My first tip is from uh, Syria. Actually, they're, they're both from Syria. I'm a massive fan of, of Syria, especially the dark arts of Catanaccio. Um, uh, first match is Sassuolo versus uh, Inter. So I've gone here for Inter to win the match at 1.76. Sassuolo, look, Sassuolo certainly have their fans. They're, um, they really like to play expansive and, and quick attacking, counter-attacking football, but their home form has been absolutely dreadful. They're barely scoring at all. They haven't, they haven't scored many at all at home this season. Indeed, it's led to their manager, Christian Bucci, uh, being fired. Giuseppe uh, in how do you say his name? Giuseppe in in Iac, Iacinan, Iac, Iacini? Yeah, Giuseppe Iacini. So I'm, I'll leave this in because it sounds ridiculous. Um, he's the man they've hired. This will be his fourth league game in charge. Look, um, he, he had a pretty good track record in the early 2000s. He got Sampdoria back into Syria. He got Brescia and Chievo uh, promoted as well. But since then, he had pretty torrid times at Palermo and Udinese. So I don't know if he's really the right man for the job. I suppose he's a bit like Neil Warnock. He's good at getting people promoted, but he's not that good in the top flight. But yeah, Neil Warnock, you don't want to be compared to that man, do you? <laughs> you know? Um, I've gone for Inter to win here. They're just a different beast now. Uh, the fear factor was totally gone from Inter Milan. Nobody was afraid of going to the San Siro. No one was, you know, they saw that they were playing Inter and they'd shrug and say, yeah, we can take him. This year, nah, different beast completely. Maro Icardi is, is having the season of his life. He's banging him in left, right and center. And I don't see Sassuolo getting their new manager bounce against Inter, especially because they're going to want to keep the pressure up. Um, and, you know, keep chasing for that Scudetto. My second match then is from the big one of the weekend in Syria, where the old lady Juventus are taking on uh, Roma on Saturday evening. Going for Juventus to win here at 1.79. Now I think that's pretty good odds. And okay, I've, I've said it 101 times. I don't like betting under 2.0, but putting the two of, of them together, I'm getting a 3.15 in accumulator. So I think that's that that's fairly reasonable. In fairness, if if someone gave you uh you know some, someone gave you a bet that Juventus and Inter were going to win this weekend, you'd, you'd, you'd pr- pretty much take it, like wouldn't you? Um, look, the thing about this match is, uh, you know, Juventus are just so good at home. They've like, they did lose to Sampdoria at home uh, this season, but they haven't lost in other than that, they haven't lost in ages. They're absolutely amazing in, in Torino, so they are. And um, Roma. Just looking up the head-to-heads there as well. Roma haven't beaten Juventus in Torino since 2010. And back then, you know, that's when Alessandro Del Piero was in the team. What a player. Although, I did look up the lineup, and um, <laughs> Cellini was, was in the team then. He must have been a, a fierce young fella then. Well, it was seven years ago, so I suppose it's not that young. But anyway, um, yeah, look, that's my tip. I, I, I think uh, Juventus would be more than strong enough to beat Roma. You saw their game plan against... Um, against the other big boys, Napoli, a few weeks ago, away to Napoli, they just stifled Napoli's attack and said, no, we're not letting you score. There's no way that's going to happen. We're going to win this 1-0. We're going to see it out. They got an early goal, sat on it, and, and did exactly that. Against Inter then, when Inter came to Torino, it was you know very similar. They just didn't let Inter play. The last 15 minutes of the match were quite good. Both teams, I suppose, could have won with tired legs and all. By, by then, but, um, it was the same thing. It was just not, we're not gonna let you score. This, this is our, you know, this is our home ground. You, we, we dictate the play here. And it was very much like that. 
uh, until the last few minutes when, well, I suppose both teams could have won it with a couple of chances, but you know, neither did, did come out on top. I think, though, against Roma, Roma aren't as good as Inter, especially they've had a bit of a wobble recently. They're not playing as well. They're scraping matches, scraping wins here and there, so uh, I can't really see them getting at and against this dominant Juventus. Uh, Juventus, of course, they will know uh, the other results going into this game. They will know if uh, Inter uh, have won and, and Napoli as well. So if, if both those teams do mess up, well, hopefully Inter won't anyway, um, they'll go top of the table. So they'll definitely be motivated for this. And, you know, getting one over on, on the old enemy in Rome... Sure, you know, people from outside the city or people from outside the capital city, they always love doing that. So, uh, yeah, th- this accumulator adds up to uh, 3.15. So look, folks, that's it for me then. If you'd like to get in touch with me, you can get me Pro Tipster Pod on uh, Twitter because I looked after uh, because I look after the podcasts and videos at uh, Pro Tipster. Uh, make sure and check us out on Facebook as well. Join the groups and you can ask uh, me, uh, Dan Martin or Johnny, any questions you have about betting. Um, subscribe to us here on YouTube. We uh, we put out daily tips videos, previews, strategy videos, and of course our podcast as well particularly make sure and check out the combined 11 podcast it's a new thing that no one else is doing in podcast land we look at a match we take the two squads and we pick our best starting 11 from the two teams it's it's been been going very well and i think uh, a lot of football fans would really like it um yeah that's pretty much it make sure and check out uh, protipster.com for some of the best football tips you will find on the internet and it's all for free all you got to do is register with your facebook or email account and you have access to thousands and thousands of winning football tips so make sure and check it out and we'll all keep bashing those bookies okay look that's it from me then pro tips to patty i hope you all have a brilliant amazing and mighty christmas and I'll speak to you soon enjoy the football good luck <laughs>